Hi guys, thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Arthi Thangadu. I am a diabetes thyroid and hormone specialist, and I am here to discuss the next topic in my insulin resistance series. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to help me get the message out. Today we're gonna to talk about stress. Stress and sleep to me kind of go hand in hand. If one is just out of whack, it's really hard to make good decisions in other aspects of our life like diet and nutrition and exercise. So we wanna make sure that you have the tools to manage the stress that you, you're dealing with. Life is stressful. There's always gonna be stressors around. Of course, there's gonna be periods that are more stressful than others, but the way we handle our stressors really is what defines us and defines our ability to manage the rest of our life. So finding ways to manage your stress can really affect your physical health, including with diabetes. Stress in one way does increase cortisol levels, um, not to pathological high levels like Cushing's, but high cortisol levels do impair insulin sensitivity, cause insulin resistance, worsen blood sugars, and also stress, of course, impairs our decision-making with regard to food and exercise. So we have a lot of tools out there now, like mindfulness apps, Headspace, I use one called Simple Habit that can help optimizing your sleep, can in turn help with stress, journaling, therapy, just talking to the, your loved ones, finding ways to channel your stress and engaging in mindfulness activities can really make a big difference on your overall health, your risk of chronic disease, your risk of diabetes, your risk of diabetes complications, and finding ways to healthfully deal with your stress will also make you happier and a better person, a better mom, dad, sister, brother, parent. So I really encourage you to explore stress as a cause for some of your other illnesses if you have them. And even if not, to proactively think about your stress and how you're managing it because it makes a big difference in your overall health. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.